Studio One 6.6 is here, and I've got to say, I think it's a little bit more than just a minor update. Hi folks, I'm Mike. And I hope you will. We're going to be finding out what's new in Studio One 6.6 today, and you can already get hold of it for yourself. Just open up Studio One. You'll probably see a message for it there. If not, go to Help, check for updates, and you can download it that way. And not only are there a few improvements scattered around it, but there's also a completely new virtual instrument. That's pretty good for a minor update. Not only that, but there's a new way to pay. The new Studio One Plus hybrid license is a way of combining both subscription and perpetual licenses. The way it works is you sign up for a 12 month subscription and at the end of that period, you get a full license for the latest version of Studio One that was available at the end of your subscription. Pretty cool, huh? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Lead Architect is a brand new virtual instrument included with this version. Based upon Studio One's virtual synth engine, you can have up to three layers per sound. Let's dive in and take a quick look. Now, once you've downloaded the sound sets for this, you'll see that there's quite a number of presets for you to choose from, so quite a range of sounds. I've chosen Dynamo in the pads folder here just to demonstrate this instrument to you. Now, earlier on, I said that each instrument or preset is made up of three layers of sounds and you can see them color coded at the bottom here so in yellow I've got dirty pipes selected at the moment then in red glassy organ and then in blue formant clones now that color coding runs through the rest of the UI in the middle here with this kind of joystick control where we blend each of these three layers together you can see those colors are in action on the edges of that little sort of triangle there and then again on the right hand side where we can control the attack and release in one hit we can also individually adapt each of those layers and again they are color coded there let's just have a little muck around with this preset here and I'll just adjust this uh, control in the middle here to blend the different layers together <laughs> Now, as well as a sort of a basic control of each of these three layers here, we can also open up the kind of advanced view by clicking on this arrow at the top here. And here we get um, really detailed control over each of our three layers, which we can select down the bottom here and then show in the top. Again, that's all color coded so you can easily see which one you're adjusting. This is a very quick overview of this. I encourage you to try this out. I'm excited to see where it goes in future versions versions as well. If you're not using macros in Studio One, then I reckon you're missing out. Basically, think of a complex task that you often do. You can take all of the steps of that task and combine them in one command with macros, which you can execute from either a keyboard shortcut or a custom button on your screen. What's new with this update is they've added macros to both the project page and the show page. I know for me personally, I'll be making a lot of use of them on the project page. I've been making a lot more use of the Studio One lyrics features recently. I especially like to show them on the Studio One remote app on my iPad where the singer can clearly see them while they're recording. Now, there's been a couple of minor updates which are quite effective in this version. Firstly, the current lyric line being sung seems to have a bigger font and you can invert the colors, which makes it a little bit more legible in certain situations. These updates have been applied to the song page, the show page, and also the Studio One remote app. If you use TuneCore to release your music to the major platforms, then you'll be pleased to hear that there's TuneCore integration in Studio One with this version. From within Studio One, you can select songs to upload to TuneCore for further processing. There's been some updates to spatial audio in this version, including support for Dolby Atmos composite beds, mute solo functions for bed channels, 
and support for monitoring Apple spatial audio. Now, if none of that means anything to you, you may want to check out this tutorial video I made right here, which gets you up to speed with the Atmos features in Studio One. Yes, even if you just have a stereo pair of headphones. There's also been some performance tweaks in this version, which you should notice more with larger songs. So if you've got songs with like over a hundred tracks on them, for example, you may have found things like opening and closing the mixer to be a little bit sluggish. They're saying now that things like this can be three to four times faster. After you've tested this update on a large project, let me know in the comments down below if you found it was indeed any faster. They've also added the ability with downloads to pause and resume them. So if you're downloading something like a large sound set, but you need that bandwidth temporarily for something else, it's very handy that you can actually pause and resume. That. Late last year, Fender released the Tone Master Pro, a multi effects guitar workstation. And I guess because of Fender's alliance now with Presonus, they've updated this version to include a template, especially for this absolute beast of a guitar processor. Now using this template, they're saying that users will easily be able to record wet, dry and reamp signals with one click. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you over to my Studio One Revealed Facebook group. There's a great bunch of people over there already asking and answering questions in a really helpful way every single day. There's a link for that in the description down below and I'd love to see you there. And it would be great if you could also help me out right now by liking this video and subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. It really does help to make this sustainable. You can also leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about these latest updates. I'd love to hear from you on that. I'd also like to see you in the next video.